I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Now, in one of my videos on limits on trigonometric function, uh, we have a question there asking for how do we evaluate limit for sin x over x when x approaches infinity. Now, there are many methods of doing it, but first, let's do with logic. Now, we are given four choices. Let's see which one is the right choice. Now, as you know, the, the sine function is basically restricted in range. It could be well within only plus and minus one, right? So we know that sine x can be a value which is between minus one and plus one, right? So that is in the numerator, sin x. In the denominator, we have x, right? So what we see here is that the numerator value could be between minus 1 and plus 1. However, the denominator value x could be, since they are approaching to infinity, could be approaching infinity. Now, if you divide any number in between minus 1 and plus 1 by infinity, what do you get? Well, we get 0. And therefore, A should be your answer. Correct? Perfect. So, so that is the right answer. Now, how do you actually solve it? We could use a squeeze theorem. which most of you will learn much later. At this stage, we can say something like this. The value of sine x is always between minus 1 and plus 1, right? Now, if I divide all these terms by x, what do I get? Where x is a large number, right? So if I divide everything by x, where x is a large number, right? Where x is approaching infinity. We are looking for a positive value, right? In that case, we get this inequality as sine x over x is greater than or equal to 1 over x and less than or equal to 1 over x. Greater than or equal to minus 1 over x and less than or equal to 1 over x. Now, clearly, if x is approaching infinity, then minus 1 over x is approaching 0, and 1 over x is also approaching 0, correct? So what do we get? So for the given condition, for x to be very large, we get that this value of sine x over x is between 0 or 0. You get the idea? So there could be nothing else between 0 and 0 except for 0 itself. And therefore, this limit should be equal to 0, right? The concept which we just used is called squeeze theorem. So for a function which is continuous, it works. Do you see that part, right? So that is how we could find the limit for sine x over x when x is approaching infinitely large number. I hope that is clear, right? Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.